What's up, everybody? So, boys, today we're going to be showing off the new best purple cane build and runes. So, boys, I've been fiddling around with a lot of purple cane, and I didn't think he'd be back at first, but then I remembered. Fear of Shojin. I've been playing a lot of Assassin Cane, and uh, he's okay, but not really too good. So, purple cane is a real dealio. Now, first things first, put chat down here. But, I just played a game with it, and I was going absolutely crazy. The ability haste you get, so we're going to be going a lot of ability haste items. This is essentially going to be like Earth Cane. So a lot of you are probably wondering, Harris, my what is a purple cane? I'm new here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know anything about anything. Well, let me tell you. Essentially, purple cane is when you mix red and blue. Because when you mix the colors red and blue, that's what you get. You get purple. So, you mix the red build, red runes, and put it on blue cane. Now, you could also, I suppose, do, you know, red cane with blue build and blue runes. That'd be kind of just purple too. But usually when I speak of purple cane, a lot of people just assume I'm talking about blue with bruiser items. So that's pretty much what it is. It's blue with bruiser items. You can also call it like loser if you want. It's another name for it. First things first, let me get a leash. A leashy here. that will be good. And we're going to we're gonna path top to bot. Obviously, I want to get my blue form. So I'm going to be pathing towards the range champs. As opposed to pathing towards, you know, the melee champion. Camille. We'll see how that goes. Gotta figure out where the enemy junk starts here. That's usually one of the main important things you want to do. Step one of jungling. Figure out where the enemy junk starts. Oh yeah, if you guys wondered, we're, we're actually like running blue smite every game. I think red smite's pretty bad right now. If they buff it, I might start running it. Uh, green smite on this build in runes. I haven't really tested it, but I feel like blue is just so nice because of mobility. Um, Tom used a lot of mana, so I'm going to assume that... Silas started red, but I mean, regardless of where he paths, if he paths top to bot or bot to top, I don't think he paths faster than me, and I don't think he paths as healthy as I do, so I'm not worried if he does path down. So, I, I doubt he'd do a full clear as well. It seemed pretty, like, silly. He probably just gets level 3 and looks for a gank. Just bad, because, you know, my land just could die early, but, hey, eh, you know. Hey, eh, you know, I mean, eh, that's what happens. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering, this is the new clear. I probably am going to have a video uploaded already of how to do this. And there's some tweaks I'm going to make before the season starts to make it as efficient and as perfect as possible. But right now, it's pretty basic. It's pretty simple. A lot of what we used to do just with some new mechanics implemented into it. So, like, you know, we didn't use our E to pass over the Krugs wall. We held it for the Raptor wall. And then right here, we used both our smites as well. We used the smite on the wolf. Then we used smite on the Grom. Pretty fast. Pretty efficient. I used my pod here as well. Big pod enjoyer. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty consistent. We're just watching bot lane now. Notice how the wave is building up. It's shoving in. So once this wave builds in far enough, now we'll wait, be able to gank that lane. Yo, Apex Bravado. Thanks for the prime. Ooh, Apex. I love that game. All right, 309 full clear. We can do it faster than that, but I think I trolled it a little bit. I think uh, Sir Silios is pathing up. So I'm in a pretty good position here to look for this gank, but I need the rush to like, kind of lead me in here. Yeah, without oh, Thomas wait, walking up. Oh! Woo! Flash. Eh? Stakes happen. Yo, a Tower Hill. Thanks so much for the Prime. That's so much fun. I got, his I got the Flash in the I was going to say that was good because we traded Flash for Flash. By the way, you can easily kill the uh, Santa next time we gank, but it's okay. Sometimes it's six seven. Yo, oh, Archer Maid, thanks for 15 months. Welcome back, my boy. You guys are probably wondering. Karis, my, Karis, my. Oh, I forgot to show the runes. Oh, my goodness, my bad. Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, and Double Adaptive with the Scaling HP. That's usually what I like to get. Usually, first reset, you want to get a Pickaxe. And if you can get an Iron Spike Whip, oh, it is so good. But, yeah, that's pretty much where we want to go. I was right, he did path bot to top. Because I noticed uh, Tom can't use a lot of his mana. So, just something I was like, oh, he looks like he used two tongue licks instead of one. And the CD isn't quick enough for him to use two tongue licks in lane phase that quick. So, ah, I figured. And uh, I was correct. So, something as simple as that can help out a lot of your pathing in play. So, it meant that my top laner and my mid laner could play a lot more safe. And my bot laner could play a lot more aggressive. So, stuff like that is just very important to note as a jungler. Because as a jungler, you're kind of like the... Um, Kind of like the team babysitter, you know? Kind of like the team babysitter. Do I go blue smite on red cane? Yes, actually I do. Blue smite's really good. I think red smite's really bad right now. They might buff it, and if they do, I'll change my mind on that. But blue smite, really OP right now. The high tempo you get when it's fully evolved. If you don't know what happens when it's fully evolved, 
upon exiting killing a camp or upon exiting a bush, you get a burst of movement speed, which is pretty crazy. It's kind of like Ghost. And there is no CD on it, so every time you're exiting a bush, you're just zoom. You know, so it's kind of crazy. Oh, I am a big fan, a big enjoyer of a Blue Smite right now. I feel like it's super snowball-y, super uh, high tempo for pretty much every jungler that uses it. Okay, so we're going to keep our eyes on bot lane again. And the thing is with playing Purple Cane, a lot of people would wonder, okay, well, why would you even do that? It's kind of because a lot of games, when you play Red Cane, your main weakness is that you don't have enough mobility. And then a lot of times when you're playing Blue Cane, your main weakness is I'm too squishy, right? So this is kind of mixing to where you're not too squishy and you have a lot of mobility. So it's kind of just making it a little bit more comfortable for those situations where you kind of need... Know, this or that and I, I think in this meta because of Shojin. Oh, man. I just whiffed that so hard. I got a dip here This guy's just went full ham on me I whiffed the W Tragedy. Yeah, sometimes it's smart to just play chill for now I could have looked for anything bot and I just wanted to poke that guy and get out. Well, my W would have been fine, but I whiffed it I can lie my, my hand like slipped on my mouse. I'm actually nervous right now I'm very nervous I'm trolling uh I'm probably gonna path up for the top scuttle, which is pretty unlucky for me. He gets the better RNG because he's pathing up and he got the top side scuttle. I'm pathing down, and I didn't get the bot side scuttle. Honestly, if he doesn't get it though on spawn, I can maybe go yoink it. Depending on the HP, if I'm calculating correctly, if he doesn't have smite, I could actually steal this. He should have smite up, but you never know. I did have smite, that's so unlucky. Still laying his reset, so he's not gonna go farm his bot side yet. This is a lot of farming. Normally you don't farm this much, but unlucky I can't really look for a ganks anywhere too well. We have Victor, which is very useless champion mid lane for ganks. Um in bot lane, I mean Draven Thresh. We would have been able to camp the lane, but Draven hinting early on kind of just made it impossible to. Because Tom can get out really easy and he can get sent out really easy. So you kinda need to have like an advantage on them. Yeah. Mm, I do want to look for something mid. He does have no ult, but like I said, Victor just has nothing to help me out here, you know what I mean? But we can like maybe get his flash, that'd be something cool. I have my 2 smite now, so might as well look for something. I can get baited in, looks like. Oh wow, he actually walked into the that willingly. Oh I guess I should have just ulted him. Here's both his thumbs there. So now we can look to just gank him again. Ball lane's getting like hard sent on. That was might be down there. Based on how like up they're playing. Hit the fruit now they'd spawn. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about if I gank this lane is that Draven's like 1 HP, right? If he comes, he can just like get a free kill. Rush just has to play this properly. Oh, Rushy boy. Yeah, see, the thing is, is that I wanted to, like, act like I was going full send on the Tom, then actually just go on the Senna. And now I get my form. Blue form, because I hit Senna more than I hit Tom. See, if I hit Tom more than I hit Senna, I would have got my red form. But, obviously, I wanted to get my blue form. So that worked out. This is actually a very slow-paced game. Normally, you don't play games as slow-paced as this one. But, I don't mind it, because sometimes this is just how League is. A lot of people, this is an issue, is a lot of junglers, they feel stressed. They feel stressed. They feel pressured. And they don't really... You're like, oh, I, if I'm not impacting the map at all times, I'm not doing anything useful. Well, the truth is, is that sometimes you're not going to be useful early game, and you need to be willing to understand that to be useful mid game or late game. Understanding how your champ works, and specifically can, mean that, you know, you understand, okay, well, I'm not as strong early on, so sometimes I got to just play, you know, got to play a little bit in the sideline, but I, when I can make a play, I'll go for it, and I'll try my hardest and hit everything. And then when I get my form, I'll, I'll, I'll start playing crazy, you know? So he's a lot more conservative. You have to be a lot more relaxed, a lot more chill. You can't really be, like, affected by your team. Because I know in, you know, when you're playing your solo queue games, you're going to be getting pinged a lot. Oh, why, where's my jungler? Why am I not getting ganked for? Why, what is this? See, a lot of people in solo queue, when they see me, they already know my playstyle, so they don't, like, freak out. They tr trust the process. So that's why I'm kind of, like, you know, a little bit, uh, what's the word? Privileged in that department. Because when people see my name, they're like, oh, yeah, it's scares my good at Kane. He knows what he's doing. He's alright at Kane, I guess. He's not too bad. 
Not the worst Kane I've ever seen. Oh yeah, people usually think that. Maybe look for this gank top, depending on how faded she gets. Nice he's playing it well. Gotta like bait him. That's good, that's good bait. Gotta get his E out. Nice, Mord, you're a beast! I'm not gonna take your cannon. I was going to, but... What's up? Watch out bot side. Gotta watch out for the rip play. The Mordekaiser. I'm just gonna spawn. I think one of the main ways to actually out jungle the enemy jungler in this current meta is to just get your tier 3 smite enabled faster because if you have the blue smite, you're clearing and you're moving around the map so much faster. Pretty much playing the game at two times speed. Okay, so Silas took this earlier. But notice the timing he took it. It meant that he would have been top set around 20 to 30 seconds ago, which means that he'd be in his bot side right now. Uh, I mean, if we get full combo on him. Uh, I mean, I think I'm dead if I stay, so I'm just gonna back up here. You got a flash, bro. Oh my god, he created it. He should just flash. This guy had no flash. We zone flat off the wave. The only way that play goes bad is if we die. Sag. It's definitely looking like a Maw game. I'm probably gonna build what I built last game, where I got Chainsword. Rush, Cleaver. Well, actually, no, I don't think I need Cleaver this game. I don't quite think I need Cleaver. to make sure I get all the wave. I have not got a single dragon yet, which is kind of sussy. Does Cloud Dragon give ability haste? Oh, that could be crazy. Last game I was at like over a 200 ability haste, counting uh, the Shojin. So we might be able to go to Earth mode again. Enable the Earth mode. Ravenous Hydra, I'm looking. Well, Ravenous Hydra just got nerfed. It's not very good. I right, flash instead of just taking the lantern. This guy. Unlucky. That was already took his bot set, I could tell by running his camps. Oh, I get the objective. Ooh, Infernal. Ah, the two best dragons I can get. Let's see, what does this give you? Yeah, movement speed and slow resistance. Alright. It's uh, the the hex gate ones that gives you the ability haste, I think, right? I'm probably getting top and killer right now. Unless Camille has played still cap, she's not that tanky, as long as you know how to play around her shield. Like, if she autos board against the AP shield, I'll go in. And if she autos me and gets the AD shield, then he'll go in. Wait, I already sent the rift. That's crazy. That is crazy, my friend. That is crazy. Nice. He's been topside so long that his bot side's bound to spawn in like the next 20 to 30 seconds. Because he's got a 30 second death timer, maybe I could just snag it on spawn. You know what I'm saying, my boys? Sometimes you don't need to like force an over aggressive play, you just take like the small dub. So we got a kill, good play, kind of the rift play. His objective play went a lot worse than mine. Oh, I get three camps here. No, 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 I don't think I get three camps here. Look, Tom is moving. Tom be moving. Vlad be moving. Oh, baby. Wait, no, Vlad's not moving, is he? Wait, no one's moving. Who's moving? If I get this Raptors and not die, this is where it gets greedy. This is where I'm like, I'm overstaying. I'm a complete moron. This is where I'm just lucky. Hopium. Ooh, the Thresh God! Boom! Wait, Lantern! Who is this guy? You're insane! Ah, oh, this Thresh is a beast. So look, I took all of his bot side, and now I go get the high top side. Oh, see, we take the small dubs. Instead of like looking for the force mid and the force bot, I understand my limitations. And now look, I have the tier three spite, and he's still at eight stacks. So that means I have all this time, all this time in the world, to make all these crazy plays. Now I'm gonna get a big, big, big reset. Go crazy on the map. Pretty much how you wanna play, just pure tempo. Kane with flash up is broken. Yes, he is. Now I'm gonna teach you how to play him. Now we're gonna go chain sword first buy again. Full chain sword. Let's see. Executioner. Long sword. Yeah, usually when you rush chain sword, the whole purpose is to get anti heal. So people are like, oh, why don't you get Warhammer instead? Well, the whole purpose of me buying it is for the anti heal. So I'm gonna focus on the anti heal first. 
Like, what I mean? I, I, I'm sure there's some guy who's doing the math, heck, counting, you know, okay, well, if they're healing for this much at this point of the game, you know, technically, if you if you just build straight AD, AD and, you know, if you have the ability and so you get an extra ability in there, you know, you're technically you're doing more damage, but, you know, I don't play technicality, I play a feeling. It's more so how I feel. Because, uh, yeah, I've, I've done some number crunching myself, but sometimes it's just more about what feels right, you know? It's not necessarily about what statistically is better. I, I believe in playing for comfort, so if I feel more comfortable playing like this, you know, I just feel like that's a value in itself that a lot of people seem to disregard. I want to walk out of my team there. That's really hard to force something down here. So no, make sure that I got my top side, now I'm going to get his bot side again. See, notice how every time I exit the push, I'm moving faster. I'm losing a lot of top, but I can't really do much about that at the moment. Yeah, look, that's just undiveable lane. This is kind of an undiveable lane as well, so. I'm trying to find what I can find. If he uses his, uh, his pool, then he dies. Oh! That was a little bit risky, but it worked. Good job, Victor. Victor. Like, Camille's gonna be a real pain in the PP to handle, but we got it, boys. Leave him. Help! Ow! Okay, that was a random Silas. Hi, Dios mio. Raven, Raven, Raven. <laughs> it's a give angle. Honestly, if, if that Silas wasn't there, I would have killed them all. Tragedy. Forgot I had my chat all the way down here. Actually, can we take it? Yeah, maybe. I'll change my vote. Ward's just like splitting, so. Maybe. But Camille's pretty low. Ooh, the lantern. It's tier 3 smite now. Kind of what I'm worried about, but I move pretty fast. What? I'm just immediately altered her. Wait, we get this? Eh? They just give it for free? Mill's gotta be a tough nut to crack, to be honest. They just gave that? Oh, I'm shocked. I am, for one, shocked. Ocean Soul. Damn it, I wanted the Hex Soul for the police. Ocean Soul's still pretty nice. the best build for season 13? Well, the type X mission like red build or blue build, and I got you, my boy. Come on now, Buster. You know who you're playing against? Dirty Kane Abuser. That's my name. I'll wear it out. Funk. Had to make sure she didn't get her, uh, third. True damage, Q off. Oh, my team all died. Badge. Oh, the misery. Ah, let's get the objective. I don't think he took all of his top side. I guess it makes sense because he went bot, my bot to his top and then bot again. Yeah, that makes sense. It's all coming together now, boys. I'm getting it. Alright, I have my item now. And I'll get Maw instead of Cleaver this game. I don't think Maw gives as much abilities as Cleaver, but I definitely think I need Maw against their team comp. Let's see, how much does it give? 20, and Cleaver gives like 30, right? Yeah. I'll get Ma, Mad Immune, and then Spear of Shoujan. So you, pretty much, the only item that you change is like, okay, if they don't have a lot of healing, you don't need Chain Sword. If they have a lot of art, AD champs, you can go Death Stance. If they have a lot of AP champs, you can go Ma. If they have a lot of stacking armor, you can go Cleaver. 
They don't really have any stacking armor this game, so I don't think I need Cleaver, like any like grudge or anything. Would be cool, but I don't think I need it, to be honest. Let's kill this guy. Oh. Boy, this girl. Should I say? All right, you guys get the tower. Get that. Go ahead, mid. I gotta go defend. Ward, ping. Wait, how do you get gold for pinging wards now? How funny is that? Oh, he's inside of me. Get out of me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Nice! Kind of need a 1v9, but we're dying on repeat. There's like... I'm the only one on the map, it's gonna get really, really hard. All they do is play safe and then get, we can get a win. Play safe to objectives and then win. I don't know, I feel like that's a lot of players' problems is that they feel like at every second they have to be fighting or doing something impactful. What's the time you're just like playing kill until like objectives? You wait for the right times to fight and then you fight. I got Mono. Might go do the Baron because we have no vision. Uh, no, they, they're not in center spot. They're kind of slow. I'll get blue orb just in case, though. Oh, not more dying again, bro. Please. It is boring to play for objectives though. Boring? Dude, winning's never boring. Ah! Dude, Tom is so mad! He kept trying to eat her and she was running away from him! He's trolling him! Nice! Objective! Alright, now we get mad at me and then we get the Spear of Shoujan. I feel like there's a Vlad in that bush and no one's checking it. Guys, it's all Vlad bot lane. Process of elimination. Oh, he's right there. I knew he was around here somewhere. Like, I'm in your walls, Vlad! I'm out of here. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys. That was, that was a pure, like, just yam on him. I was not actually trying to fight that deep. We would actually lose Baron and then probably lose the rest of the dragons and lose the game. Yo, go die. Yay. Ah, oh, see? It's all coming again now. Shoujin always last item. Honestly, with the more building like this, yeah, I'm feeling like Shoujin's the last item. I'm feeling like Shoujin's the last item. I'm not going to lie to you. Yo, Neo. Thanks for the raid, my boy. What's up? Yo, Neo. Yo, the Darkin brothers. Yo, listen, man. If I go EU, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta run some games, my boy. Aatrox Ross goes crazy, my boy. Wait, we killed this Camille. Shout out the Neo viewers. Oh, nice. Send the Gulag. I like it. Shout out the Neo viewers. Darkin, enjoy your Giga Chad. Oh, this Thresh is so good. Oh, the denial. She's fuming so hard. We almost have Mad Man. 600 gold away. I mean, ability haste check, boys. 112. I'm already feeling like an Earth champ. I'm telling you, this this is like Earth mode.
surprised that guy didn't try and get the fruit. Hey man, I'll get the fruit. Yeehaw! Ride him, cowgirl! I got the minions while doing that. Hey yo! I got no mana, I got no mana, I got no mana. Oh my boy, we gotta get the hell out of here. Run, 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 run. So my boy, we, I got no mana. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd fight, but I'd not have mana and Camille's coming. Nail host Giga Chad. Bro, I've been trying to watch more of Nail's streams, but I swear it's he's never on when I'm awake. He's always on when I'm asleep. I wasn't streaming, I actually would have been watching the stream. Just trying to watch some Aatrox content. Alright, I'm gonna get Spirit Shoujin fi my final item. Kid, I. Woo! The CS count's kinda low. Like I said, it's a lot harder to like actually build up a high CS count in this meta. Because invading just takes so much longer. I feel like they nerfed that pretty hard, pretty hard. Alright. Boink. So yeah, the whole like premise behind this build is just so you could be like tanky enough to not get one shot but also you know have enough damage and mobility to actually get on top of people Aatrox jungle is better now wait is it really bro i've not seen any Aatrox jungle that'd be fun though but i tried Aatrox before and i i cannot hit my Qs. i feel like it's one of those champs that's like constant effort like italy where you gotta just perma hit your Qs. I love the blue sky. Just look how I'm zooming after I'm getting like the amps. Actually, no, we look mid, we look mid, we look mid, we look mid. Draven, do not try 1v1 that Camille. Bro, Draven, Draven. You're coping. You're off the copium, my boy. Woo! The hook! The hooked and the cooked! Nice try, bucko. Yeah, I saw the mall shield, that's why I was kind of playing it a little bit more conservative. I know he has flash there. Ooh. Uh, I thought Victor would walk up and kill him or Mord would tank tower. I actually could have died. He actually could have died there. Fine though. All right, I got Warhammer now. So look at my abilities and look at my damage. You can get up to like 200 abilities, just pure, like actual unironic earth mode with 600 AD at full build. That's why this build is crazy. I can't believe Riot actually added earth for solo queue. The runes, here, I show them in the bottom left. Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, got the Transcendent and Gathering Storm. I just had a lot of runes and I think this is the one I like the most for this build and playstyle. You really just feel like an earth champ. You genuinely, listen, when you play this, watching it, you can probably notice, you will feel like an earth champ. That's all I can say. Ooh. Why does smite do 1200 damage? That's the uh, fully evolved smite. You're looking at my boy. Kind of focus the Silas here. Yeah, so look at my damage I do. I actually do insane damage. That's the man immune kicking in right there, baby. Oi! I think they have F now. Oh, I didn't get the Shojin! So close. It's so close. My beloved, it's only 300 gold away. If they don't have F, I'm actually gonna be so happy. This Thresh is actually insane. Thresh, you're a god, my boy. You're a god, my boy. FF pause champ, not the FF pause champ, my boy. Yeah, I'm like, what do you gold off? Kill the ward. All right. So, we got Trojan. So now you guys gotta see. A 30 minute gathering storm power spike. The Shojin full build. I don't have my uh, Elixir of Wrath, so I'm not technically full, full build. But, technically full build, because this is the amount of ability as you get. 
Now you're going to see in team fights with the Transcendence. Champion, takedown, reduce the main and cooldown with Shoujin. Boy, throw me in the middle of a team fight right now, please. Desperately. Okay, I think we just started. I think we just started. I just want to drag them out so they fight us. They might just try and turtle, like hide in their base. I just have no CD on any of my bullies. No CD. Bro. <laughs> Bro, this is too crazy, man. My Qs are 1.67 seconds. <laughs> Dude, why did he say that? Bro, why did he say this? Well, GG, there's the new build, boys. Hope you enjoyed it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Peace out, YouTube.